I'm Jordan King, the Los Angeles Community Manager, and I'm here at Chase's brand new Crenshaw Community Center, where we are helping the financial futures for Angelinos and Greater Los Angeles. All right, so we just enjoyed the grand opening of Chase's brand new Crenshaw Community Center which is set up to support the financial lives of individuals and businesses throughout the Crenshaw Corridor and broader South LA for our local Angelinos to be part of the growth that we know is happening in our community. Are you kidding me? You know what we could do in this community? We live here. We know what the people need, right? Because we live here. We're going to create workforce development, entrepreneurship training, business building, incubation, and financial literacy program. And if you don't know about South LA Cafe and our foundation, I do, right? There you go. <laughs> Last year during the pandemic, I was one of 40 restaurants selected to serve senior meals in the city of Los Angeles. And I was amazed at the count when I found out that we, together, we served just under 4 million meals to seniors in the city of Los Angeles. So we made sure that everybody understood the tools and the resources that J.P. Morgan Chase and our partners will be providing out of this community center to help create an ecosystem for greater financial health locally uh, for individuals and businesses. The first step is knowing what is available to us and the next step is taking advantage of those resources to change our outcomes. We're currently operating in 15 cities across the country, but what we did is we partnered with List LA so that we made a grant to them for $1 million so they can actually uplift the local communities here in South Los Angeles. List partners with different corporations, different non-for-profits, making introductions so they can provide comprehensive strategies to uplift our communities. In 2020, we're proud to say that during a pandemic, we brought in 19 small businesses. Of those 19 businesses, were BIPOC-led, with 13 being Black-owned businesses, two being Latino-owned businesses, and four being API-owned businesses. And 73% of them, ladies, they were women-owned enterprises. See, when an organization really focuses on its values, and affects its values into their community and understands the values of their community, when those two are matched, then magic can happen. We are here to affect change. And we're here to affect change for generations to come. Sure while this grant is under construction, we stayed open. And thank you to all the customers who came in every day with the nails and the hammers and all the stuff going on. We had to stay open because we are essential not just to this community, but to the whole country. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our Chase employees for everything you do. Big shout out to all you guys. Our common goal is simple. Impact lives and help create generational wealth. In order to do that, first we gotta be human. We gotta be human. And how do we start? We gotta listen. We gotta listen to what people say. We gotta ask them questions to understand their concerns, their worries, and be ready for what we hear. Yeah, so joining us remotely were folks from all over the country and uh, some very notable names that we were happy to have. We had our CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, Jamie Diamond, join us. Everything we do, only we manage, we do it at the local level. How many kids do we help in that community? How many small businesses do we help in that community? How many mortgages or affordable housing units we help get created in that community? Uh, we also had the famous uh, Derek Fisher and Marcellus Wiley, who represent not only the apex of sports, but also of community advocacy. But never was I introduced to the understanding of money and financial literacy. So looking back now at those times, uh, I want to make sure that I fill that gap, that I fill that void for those who now will be encouraged to learn about financial literacy. Really trusting your instincts and, and trusting what you really believe to be true and have some passion and, and some conviction about it and, and step into that and, and embrace then the challenges and or the responses that come from that decision. I think that's really important uh, when you think about being successful. And last, we also had Stevie Barrett, 
who is the head of our consumer bank here at Chase, um, who shared our broader strategy across the country for communities like this. Our customers need our help now more than ever, and that's no more true than in the Crenshaw Community Branch. You've heard a lot of folks talk about Crenshaw Community being the sixth community branch. Well, I'm going to change the narrative a little bit. It's our first community center branch in the state of California, and we're so excited. So very excited to get the ribbon cut and really begin the hard work of pouring more into the communities that we live in and serve every day. We're making a shift to help bridge the gap with uh, generational wealth and to be a part of that journey with a brand that believes in it and is giving when the community an opportunity to grow, it brings joy to my heart. We believe it is a new day for the prosperity that is to come for Crenshaw.